Today, I will walk you through step-by-step -step process of buying web hosting with Namecheap, setting everything up the right way and also launching the WordPress website with them. Not only that, I will also go and share with you a few tips that will allow you to go and save a lot of time and also a lot of money. Now, firstly, let's take a look at if it is actually a good choice to go with Namecheap. Whenever you're looking online, you will see a lot of tutorials on how to build your website that are recommending web hosting companies like Bluehost, but it's not the best. I've seen a ton of videos and blogs posts recommending Bluehost and similar providers, but the main reason creators push them is because of affiliate commissions. Bluehost pays us creators the most, even though their performance is on the same level, if not even worse than Namecheap, and it is significantly cheaper. A lot of people will just go and take a look at the first year prices, which are very similar, but this is a big mistake because all of the companies are having the first year prices on discounts. And if we look at the renewal prices, we can see that Bluehost is not a very good deal. That's where Namecheap is very good. So if you're ever looking for a good, reliable hosting for cheaper price, Namecheap is still a good choice for you. Only as creators, if we recommend this, we will not earn as much money if people use our links. So if you want to use mine and appreciate this honesty, please just use lookanos.com forward slash Namecheap or click the link in the description. It should go and apply all of the discounts directly in here and it doesn't cost you anything. So inside here, we can go and click on hosting. Now, this is a big misconception. A lot of people making WordPress websites, they want to go with WordPress hosting, but this is a big mistake. Go with shared hosting. It's more flexible and also cost effective. Inside shared hosting, we can see three plans, Stellar, Stellar Plus and Stellar Business. If you are making a business website, you can go with Stellar Business, but it is a little bit overkill, so we don't need to worry about it at all. So it's between Stellar and Stellar Plus. Now, if you want to go and make multiple websites, I would go and recommend you with the Stellar Plus. But if you are looking for the cheapest way, go with Stellar, it will still work for you. Importantly inside here is this data center location. We can see now currently Namecheap has four data center locations. This is where the server is going to be located. Basically, the best advice I can give you is locate it as close as possible to your target audience, not to yourself where you are currently based. Do it based on your audience. So for example, I am writing for the US audience. So I want to go and select US inside here. And then we can go and continue with hosting. So just click on get started. Now we need to go and choose our domain name. So if you already own a domain, either through Namecheap or any other providers, you can just click on connect to existing domain. But for this tutorial, I do not have any domain. So I'm going to register a brand new domain. So I will just type in my domain name into this search bar. And if it is available, I can go and simply click on connect to hosting and it will add it to the card. Now I can just click on the card and inside the card, we can see multiple stuff in here. We can see our domain, the actual hosting plan, and also the domain privacy. This is something that we want to go and always keep on. It's 100% free with Namecheap and it will go and protect your personal information online so nobody can go and see it. This is pretty much must have. So definitely make sure this is checked on. Now, to save money long term for this, you want to consider registering your domain for more than one year. You will lock in a lower price before the renewal kicks in. But also be aware that this only applies for a few years. As you can see, if I go for two years, it's not including renewal price. So we can save money inside here. Now, this is what I usually go for. And this is the best deal currently available. So you can just go and copy it. But if you want to go and have the cheapest option possible, just go with one year inside here. Also, make sure that every single one of those pre-selected things, the add-ons are actually turned off. Don't worry, you can always buy them later. And sometimes I have even seen them being discounted if you already have accounts set up. So this is also good to know and we can get rid of everything inside here. Now we need to go and either 
login into our account or if you're a complete beginner to Namecheap, you want to go and fill up all of those information. Don't worry, this will take us to the same place afterwards. So since I already own Namecheap account, I will just go and log in. And you can see both of those will get us to this pay now page when we just need to go and accept the terms, review if everything is correct, and we can just go and click on pay now. And once this is done, we will see the order confirmation. Also inside here, make sure that you spelled your domain name correctly. This happened to me once before and I lost some money on it and needed to go and buy a new domain and connect it with hosting and it was not fun. So just inside here, make sure that everything is spelled out correct. And now we can go and confirm it and we can see is being processed now. This can take around one minute and after it we have actually successfully got our web hosting. It was really that easy. Now we just need to go and access our Namecheap dashboard. We can do it by going into our icon and clicking inside here on dashboard and it will take us inside here. Now we need to go and access cPanel in order for us to go and download all the necessary stuff for WordPress. So how can we do it? Well, we have two basic options. We can go and check also our domain. So just go to domain list. Here we should see our domain. So let's choose the one that you want to go with and click on manage. And under products, you will see your hosting plan in here. So now when you scroll down, you can see there is a link to cPanel. Now, if you don't want to go and do anything with your domain, you can just go into hosting list and here you will see your hosting plan and click on go to cPanel. Now let's install WordPress inside the cPanel. So in here we want to go and scroll down to locate scripts and under them we will see a WordPress logo. So we want to go and click on this and here we want to go and click on custom install. We want to go and change few stuff inside here which a lot of people don't do and they regret it later on. So let's take a look at those. Firstly, let's start with the basics. Let's remove every single plugin that is pre-selected. We do not need those plugins. And usually they are just taking space on your websites and are slowing down your websites. Don't worry, we can always come back if we need to use them and download them this way. Then we want to go and change the admin user and password. This is the login credentials you as WordPress admin will use to access your WordPress website. So in that way, you don't need to always go and log in through your name chip, go to cPanel and access it this way. You will just have this simple login information inside here and you can put whatever you will put inside here and it will just work. Then we can go and update our site name and description. And what is actually does? Well, whenever you have multiple tabs open and you hover over them, your visitors of your website will see those information in here. So this is something that we want to go and communicate what this website is and what it is about to your potential visitors. So just make sure it describes well your website, what it is about, and also use your name in there. If we scroll completely down, we can also see all the automatic backup information. For example, we can choose a backup location, we can set how many versions to keep and all the good stuff. But most importantly, you want to go and change this website URL prefix. By default, it is set up on HTTP, but we want to go and change this to HTTPS. The S is very important to be included. It means secure. And this is basically us telling Google and all the other people visiting your website that this website has secure connections and the communication is encrypted. This is especially important now because Google and also people, they do not like the websites that do not have this lock inside here. Now, one problem that can happen is if you are doing this buying process very fast, it takes few minutes until four hours until everything gets sorted out and officially registered. So if you see this message as I had, just wait few minutes it can take up to four hours and after it, if you refresh it, it should automatically be working. So no worries, this is completely fine. If you bought your domain name with hosting via Namecheap, it's all going to be down automatically. You don't need to deal with this. So just wait a few time. And now once everything is done, we can just go and click on install. 
and it will begin downloading everything you need for your WordPress launch. Now, after a minute, you will see this link to your new website and WordPress dashboard. And just like that, you have a fully functional WordPress website inside here. It's really that easy. Now, one more quick tip for you that I found very useful. As I was mentioning, you don't always want to go through Namecheap and go to cPanel and log into your WordPress this way. What I personally like to do, I just like to copy this admin information inside here. And since usually I'm using Chrome, I will just right click and click on add page inside here. I will just name it website login. And whenever I want to go and access my website, I just need to click on this. It will take me to the login informations. And I just put the login information and password I have put in this tab. And now you have everything. You have your fully functional working WordPress website set up with Namecheap web hosting, which has been done for way cheaper compared to their competitors. So once again, if you want to support this channel and you find this helpful, you can go and use my links in the description. This is everything from me. Have a nice day and goodbye.